King Charles to be installed and crowned a couple of days earlier in solemn procession before the formal coronation. Amazon native head Yunker Domingo Pease has traveled to London from Ecuador to conduct the privilege tomorrow, 48 hours beforehand. King Charles III approved an authorized ceremonial coronation is on Saturday, the 6th of May. King Charles will be crowned a couple of days earlier in a ritualistic service before the certified coronation. The ruler of the Amazon's clans will conduct and execute the distinctive event, when he bestows him with a crown of rainforest feathers in an extraordinary customary rite tomorrow. Amazon Aboriginal Chief Yunker Domingo Pease has landed in London from Ecuador to mark and grace this occasion, 48 hours before the King Charles is crowned officially on Saturday. It is the clannish chief's premier way of exhibiting their appreciation for the king's two decades of work to climax the diminishing rainforests. In a sign of how considerable the basis concerns the king, Charles has highlighted stages in his journal for the formality at 2 p.m. on today in Buckingham Palace just 48 hours before his ceremonial crowning at Westminster Abbey. Communicating to Tom Newton Dunn on Talk TV concerning the occasion for the initial instance, Yunker disseminated aspects of the exceptional pre-coronation, enlightening the public the significance of the crowning of feathers exposition. Through his translator, Yunker said and I quote so, First I want to say that the crown comes from the Achur people, the Achur nation and the first thing that it symbolizes is respect. For us, this is a sign of respect. It's an honor to be bestowed on someone who's an authority, who has been, in this case of King Charles, very much committed to protecting biodiversity, to protecting nature. This is a symbol that we are bestowing on King Charles to show as a symbol of our growing alliance with His Majesty and also with other world leaders, people who are interested in aligning with indigenous peoples from the heart to protect nature. The chief said he would like to put the crown on the king's head as a show of respect, adding, In the name of the actual people and in the name of the Sacred Headwaters Alliance I would like to offer him, His Majesty, I would like to offer His Majesty the crown to put on his head. That would be our way of delivering, presenting the crown to him. He joked and I quote I wanted to clarify that if the king is amenable to being given the crown on his head, we would love to present it to him, and if not, we will just leave it for him. Driven in terms of what he wanted to commit his life to, because he, he never knew when the day may come when he would become king. King Charles ascends the throne with big challenges ahead. First and foremost, he has to deal with the infighting and scandal at the heart of his own family, the heart of the monarchy, which has really threatened the institution. The family dramas are a, a huge problem for Charles. Charles is a loving father. He wants to reconcile with Harry. He doesn't want this to be overshadowing his reign. Charles does face a problem. For 30 years now, his big idea for the monarchy is that it should be slimmed down. His idea always was that he would have these two loyal lieutenants, William and Harry, beside him. And we've seen that, um, in fact, that's not going to be the case and that will be the challenge for Charles in the future. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have announced that they are carving out what they call a new role for themselves. Move over Brexit. There is a new breakup that's shaking up the UK and it's been dubbed Megxit. Harry and Meghan's departure from royal life remains the talk of the town. When Charles made his broadcast soon after his accession, he very graciously expressed his love for his younger son and wished his son and his wife well in their new life they were making overseas. That was a very polite way of Charles saying, off you go, you go to California, we wish you well. That's the end of it. The future for the British monarchy lies with Charles and William operating as a pair. But the subtle